Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will be telling you how to use pit and fissure sealants. Now, what do you mean by pits and fissures? Pits and fissures are basically areas or narrow channels in the, on the enamel surface which are actually very highly susceptible to caries. And why they are susceptible to caries? Because they have tendency to collect food debris and plaque. So that is the reason you require protection and prevent it from uh, having caries in that area. Now if we see that there are four types of fissures. One is V type and U type. Now V and U as you can see they are shallow and they are self cleansable. So actually no intervention is required in this. Then you have I type and K type deep fissures. Now these are basically deep and narrow channels which are retentive to dental plaque or food debris. So in those cases uh, you require to treat it with pits and fissure sealants. Now what are pit and fissure sealants? Pit and fissure sealant according to ADA specification 39 are basically light cured or even self cured fluoride releasing unfilled or lightly filled raisins which are used to seal non carious pits and fissures of deciduous or permanent teeth. The pits and fissure sealants can be of two types. They can be raisin paste uh, sealants or they can be glass ionomer based uh, sealants. So basically we will uh, limit our discussion to raisin based sealants. So this is one of the pit and fissure sealant which is raisin based and it is composed of bis GMA raisins which are light curable and these are uh, they can be tech DMA or bis GMA depending and uh, they are light curable. Pit and fissure sealants can also be self cured so in those cases they are provided uh, with two paste system you have to mix both and then apply. So I will be talking to you, I will be telling you the procedure of how to do it. So first procedure is to clean the pits and fissures. You can see these are pits and fissures. You have to clean it properly with pumice paste or you can use air abrasion. And then once you have done that, check it with an explorer to see if there is any food debris which is there. Then rinse it properly for 20 seconds and after that you have to isolate the tooth. Now since this is a model only so I cannot show you the isolation you have to isolate the tooth properly so that there is no contamination whatsoever of the moisture or the saliva. Now you have to dry the surface. This surface is already dry for 20 to 30 seconds and one thing very important is you have to check for any moisture which is coming from the uh, three way syringe. So any small moisture also will contaminate and then you have to repeat the procedure. Next step is to etch this surface. Now we have to etch it or you can use a self etch adhesive. Either you use a regular etching or you use a self etch adhesive in which case you don't have to uh, etch the surface you directly have to apply it now here I will be showing you how to etch it so just flow this material like this okay and etch this surface for around 30 to 60 seconds so wait for 30 to 60 seconds at least 30 seconds is important. Now uh, as I was mentioning to you that I will be uh, showing you a resin based sealant. There are glass anomer based sealants also. The advantage of glass anomer based cement is that it is fluoride releasing and it bonds chemically to the tooth structure. But the drawback is they are having less retention and they wear over a period of time. So that is the greatest disadvantage of glass anomer. Mm, sealants. In comparison to uh, your raisin based sealants, raisin based sealants can flow easily and uh, they have 
एटलीस्ट एट टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट मोर रिटेंशन दैन दी ग्लास एनोमर बेस्ड सीलेंट्स एंड सम सीलेंट्स आर फ्लोराइड रिलीजिंग सो अगेन दे प्रोटेक्ट फ्रॉम केरीज सो नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू वॉश दिस सर्फेस प्रॉपरली वॉश इट फॉर After this, dry this surface and check for chalky white surface or frosty surface. You can see that once it is dry, you can see that dry for around fifteen seconds, and you can appreciate the dry and chalky surface. Now, after this, what you are going to do is you are going to apply. the sealant in the areas so this is syringe based and this is light curable so you are going to apply the sealant now the advantage with this material is that it changes color it will flow properly in these deep fissures yes and once you have done that then make sure there is no excess outside and then you cure it twenty to thirty seconds allow this to be completely polymerized that is 20 to 30 seconds of each surface now if you can appreciate the color is changed in this area where you had applied the pit and fissure sealant so this color is changed now after this what you have to do is you have to check the occlusion occlusion can be checked with the help of articulating paper and accordingly you will be finishing and polishing this and then protecting the restoration it can be protected by using petrolatum jelly or you can even apply a bonding agent and cure it so once this is done the procedure gets over and you have to uh, do the follow up after every 6 months to check the wear uh, of the pit and fissure and if the procedure needs to be repeated then you can repeat this procedure so this is all about pit and fissure sealants thank you for watching the video